Hello everybody, my name is Anatoly and today we're watching South Park about last night. Let's see how this goes. If there's anyone out there tonight who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dream of our founders is alive in our time, who still questions the power of our democracy, tonight is your answer. Well, that was 2008. That was right after he won for the first time. I remember this one being a big thing even in Moldova back in the day. Because, you know, it's the first African-American president of the U.S. Yeah! Obama! <laughs> we did a bit it. enthusiastic. We did it. It's been a long time yeah! coming, but tonight, because of what we did on this date in this election at this defining moment, change has come to America. Yeah! A lot of change, ladies and yeah! gentlemen. Obama! So many things they change after every single election in the US. Well, after Trump, it's a bit different, but back in the day, it was just a symbolic change, so to say. But hey, if people want to feel enthusiastic and feel that they are part of something bigger, please. Change! It's, it's change! Sasha and Malia, change. I love you both more than you can imagine. And you have earned the new puppy that's coming with us to the White House. We will name him Sparkles. He's so awesome! <laughs> Perfect and awesome! Like all the other presidents. The in doubt and those the beginning. Who tell us that we can't, we will respond with that timeless creed that sums up the spirit of a people. Yes, we can. I don't like the voice of Obama in this one, to be honest. I think even I can do it better. My fellow American, I'm gonna tell you, it's not black enough. Yes, we can! Yes, I can! Yes, I can! Here comes the change, everybody! Woo! Let them celebrate for a week or something like that. See? Our man is it! We did it! Everything is going to be awesome now! This is the greatest day of our lives! Yes, we can! Wait, who did he go against in 2008? Was it... I, it was McCain, right? I want to see who in South Park was on the side of McCain in that year. By the way, fellow Americans, you're free to tell me who you're going to choose and why in the next elections in your country. I'm going to tell you a little secret, guys. I'm not one of those people that tells you that this channel is not about politics. Hell yeah, it's about politics. Tell me about politics. I want to. I want us to have a debate of us to share views in the commentary. Why do people want to isolate themselves from politics when politics is everything that we do? I don't even know what to do now. I know what to do. Losers. Losers. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> of course, it's Butter's parents and Mr. Garrison. We love and the principal. It is natural. It's natural tonight to feel some disappointment. We fought as hard as we could. And though we fell short, the failure is mine, not yours. No, no! No, no! Uh, poor old John McCain. Well, he looks real sad. <laughs> no, no, this can't happen. No! Steven! It's, it's it's Steven. Over, That's not even Family Guy on, and you're destroying your... You're destroying your TV for McCain? I don't know how it is for you, my friends, but every single new election in the US is like a new season to a beloved series of mine. It's like America season 47 right now. The country as we know it is about to change. We're all dead. We're all dead. You don't know that, Stephen. With an inexperienced man and president, we do know it. He is right. Game over, man. Okay. We'll probably be dead by sunrise. But as daddy loves you, <laughs> just remember that he always loved you. <laughs> Woo, Obama! <laughs> Get out of here. Get out. Dude, have you seen my parents? <laughs> No, everyone's out partying in the streets. <laughs> what? What's wrong with your brother? Is he a he McCain? McCain yeah, yeah, he's a McCain supporter. <laughs> I was about to say that Ike all the time, he's a bit too interested in politics for a uh, kindergartner. This little man knows a little bit more than we do. But let's be honest, nothing compares with the election cycle that we had now. Assassination attempt, garbage truck, McDonald's. The new season of America is lit. It's okay, Ike. Obama will do fine. <laughs> Uh, Mr. President, over here. Great, great job. Great job, Mr. President. Great job, Obama. Change. Thank you all for your support. If you don't mind, I'm going to spend the rest of the evening getting some much needed rest. Senator McCain. President Obama. Are they friends? They're friends, right? 
<laughs> they're their friends. They fooled everybody. Isn't that? They're all friends in real life. This is what everybody wants to believe, right? It's just a theatrical play and we're all viewers. Except with Donald Trump. When Trump came to power, it changed a little bit because everybody tends to <laughs> demonize that guy. Even South Park is so sick of him. I honestly have nothing against Trump. I think he was a decent president. <laughs> Boom, baby! <laughs> Man, that was perfect. I almost thought we were gonna tie for a minute there. That would have screwed us. You played it perfectly, there was no way. It's McCain, we did it. Obama is president. Yeah, so I've heard. You guys are out of your freaking minds, you know that? Yes, we do. Assemble the rest of the team, we've only got 10 hours. Who the hell is yeah, that? Part's over, right? Is this Tom Cruise? Hard part's just starting. That was heist music, ladies and gentlemen, in the background. It reminded me of the movie Snatch for a second. What are we in for right here? <laughs> Change! Finally! Finally! Obama! 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 I, I remember this other enthusiasm back in 2008, although I was a kid. I remember that everybody was a bit tired with George Bush Jr. And of course the fact that it was already the second term of the guy. Of course they would believe that this is an epic, mind-blowing change. Obama, Obama. Responsible uh, citizen, so ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, a little bit of vomit here and there. Yes, Just don't I get it. Make a noise complaint. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Change, ladies and gentlemen. Who let Obama out? That did not sound good. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is police gonna do here? Everybody was so infatuated with Obama back in the days. In my opinion, the only good thing about Obama is his speeches. He's really a charismatic guy and you can learn something from uh, from the way he talks. But when it comes to policies, oh good lord, Obamacare. Oh, police are here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, people, time to disperse. Party's over. Party, Obama! Obama. Oh, I'm time to go home. What are you, a McCain voter? Yeah! yeah! Sorry, pal, but Obama's president now. Obama! 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 Yeah, yeah flip, Obama! flip the car! Flip, flip the car! Cop car! Hey, God fucking car. damn it. Yes, yes we can! The thing is that... Every group that Randy Marsh associates with is kind of highly denigrated by his presence, by his actions. In other words, if you want to keep a clean image, do not let this son of a gun associate with your group. No! No! Hey, stop it! Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, the boys don't get it. Obama, you're so bad, you're so bad, you blow my man. Hey, Obama! <laughs> Carmen is the one to fight the most lucrative ideas in moments of utter hypnosis like this. And you know what? I don't blame the little guy. I would do the same. Just snatch music. Bravo, Obama and McCain. Ten years you two have been working on this plan and you finally pulled it off. Guys, we've all known each other a long time, had many incredible adventures, but this is going to be our greatest feat ever. I knew it! I knew when you two ran for president, you were just working an angle. Always working the angles. My friends, while the entire country is busy reacting to the election, we are about to pull off the greatest heist in human history. Okay, so I was onto something with the heist music in the background, but I don't think it's Snatch. Maybe it's Ocean's 11, 12, how many, how many of Ocean's uh, associates were there, ladies and gentlemen? I have not seen that movie in like 15 years, and I've seen it in Russian when I was a kid. So, come on, enlighten us. What are we stealing this time? The Hope Diamond. Rated number four of the ten most precious diamonds in the world. Going street value, Middle Eastern market. This is Ocean's Eleven. Ten million dollars. Two hundred ten million. No, no, no. The Hope Diamond is ungettable. Every thief in the world knows that. Almost ungettable. But can't Obama like send I don't know a couple of millions to Syria and then go and redeem them? The 
if you're a president, aren't there easier ways to steal money? I know that we're talking about the American system, but there still have to exist loopholes on how you can get rich as a president. The diamond is kept in the Smithsonian Natural History Museum, long considered to be the most thief-proof structure ever built. The diamond is protected by impenetrable walls of two-foot-wide steel. On the northeast side, a 7-5 laser system. There is simply no side of the Smithsonian that can be breached. So you go in from the roof, drop into it from the top. Can't get to it from the top because a polymer shelf runs the entire expanse. Okay, you can't get in the museum from any side and you can't drop in from above. So you can't get the diamond. From below, right? Meet the presidential escape tunnel. A two mile long underground <laughs> passage that runs from the White House to a location outside the city limits in case of an attack. The tunnel is only accessible from the Oval Office and just happens to travel right underneath the Smithsonian Natural History Museum. Right underneath the Smithsonian Natural History Museum. I want to believe that the tunnel goes to New York and it intersects with the, with the Jewish ones. I imagine you're trying to go to the Smithsonian Museum under this tunnel and all of a sudden you see your Jewish friends. Boom, baby! Boom, you baby. get somebody into that tunnel, they can blast into the museum, let the others in, the heist is on. So you both run for president because one of you has to win and you've got your access to the tunnel. And we run a particularly brutal campaign so that the nation is as distracted as possible over the next eight hours. Eight hours? That sounds very risky. We've spent ten years putting this plan together. If we are indeed the greatest thief club in the world, and we are, we won't get cut. We won't get cut. According to South Park, ladies and gentlemen, the hangover period of an election in the US, it's eight hours. I don't know, the past couple of times it was kind of... Couple of months. Yes, I'm trying to locate my parents. My name is Kyle Broplowski. <laughs> yes, the I know kid. Obama won. Kyle, Kyle, you gotta get out here. What? Your little brother's climbed out of the window. I, I think he's gonna jump. Oh my god! I... I don't do it. There's still so much to live for. <laughs> Now, he's gonna do an impersonation of uh, Caruso's career, ladies and gentlemen, he's gonna be fine. He jumped from higher uh, things in the first episode, if you remember. Nothing is gonna kill Ibrofloski. Maybe like a bad circumcision. Yes, that might happen. I know you really wanted McCain to win, but, but it's going to be okay! <laughs> Leave him alone. Let him no, suffer for a while. No, that's not true, Ike. The economy could easily stabilize with Obama's plan. <laughs> <laughs> That's like five feet off the ground. Don't do it. Not even the second floor. Goodbye. No. <laughs> Ike. I think they hit a pillow in the booth to create that effect. <laughs> that bouncing effect. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. This is kind of wholesome. He was abducted by aliens for fuck's sake. He's going to be fine. Oh, crap. Ike. All right, everyone, I'm turning in for the night. Go to standard security, team three. Sir, s sir, we have a bit of a problem. What? The new president-elect is here. He wants into the Oval Office. Barack Obama? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ocean Eleven. Ocean's Eleven, I'm sorry. right through here, sir. Uh, hello, is there something we can do for you, Mr. Obama? Just checking out the new digs. How are you guys? Good, sir. I'd like to see the Oval Office, please. Right now? I don't waste time, gentlemen. I've only got two months to figure out how I want to redecorate, if you know what I mean. You know, change the drapes and stuff. Sure, right this way, mister. Do presidents actually get to decorate the Oval Office as they wish? Because I would assume that it would be a cultural tradition to just leave it as it was. I would only hang, like, some Moldovan flags everywhere and put some Bulgarian doormats. President? I will need absolute privacy, is that understood? Yes, sir. Thanks. <laughs> Isn't that bribing? Isn't that bribing? I'm in. Nicely done, B. We're in position outside the Smithsonian. B. You find the escape tunnel? I'm already on it. Boom, baby. Wasn't there supposed to be a wire connecting your nuclear devices to your desk in the Oval Office? I don't know, I don't think I'm that good with the interior design of the White House. I only know that there's the Lincoln bed somewhere and it's gigantic because the motherfucker was big. Yeah! Oh, 
those are some responsible citizens, of course. Change! Change! Dad, Dad, we have a problem. Not anymore, we don't. Everything's oh different now. No, Dad, we gotta take Kyle's brother to the hospital. We don't have to take crap oh from the God. rich fat cats anymore. Dude, he's wasted. Imagine the cringe and the pain that uh, Stan has to deal with on a daily basis. And once again, this is this typical trend in South Park when the kids are a bit more responsible than the adults themselves. The adults themselves, they need to be babied in South Park. Hey, it's my boss! Hey, boss! Oh, hello, Mars! Yeah, you know what? F*** you! Huh? Reasonable? You heard me, you f***ing piece of shit! I can finally tell you what I think, you f***ing asshole! <laughs> He's gonna regret it. What are you doing? It's okay, Stan. Everything's changed. I don't need his stupid job anymore. You're a little ass piece of shit. You know what Obama said? Yes, we can. Hey, I voted for Obama. Obama's not talking about you. Can someone help us? My little brother fell out of the window. Oh. Hell yeah! Insurrection, ladies and gentlemen, get them to Washington, D.C. right now! There seems to be this reasonable trend of Randy Marsh not being able to control uh, his pants whenever he's uh, drunk. I'm gonna tell you, a shrine always goes nice with the elections. I just wanna say to everyone who's a little disappointed that we lost the election, that there's always next year! Maybe I'll run for vice president again in 2009! That's a nine. Uh, Mrs. Palin, have you seen or heard from John McCain? Uh, uh, no, I don't really know where he went. Oh, kind of seems a little odd, I guess, but... Oh, my phone's going ringy. Excuse me. Hello? Hello, Sarah. It's McCain. I hope to God you're calling to tell me you're in position below oh, the... Oh, yeah, snatch music in the background. I'm in the tunnel now, Sarah. Should be almost below the museum. Just make sure you don't blow the transformers along with the tunnel because it will trigger the 5-4 laser system. And don't damage any coupling wires or it'll be worthless when Garrett shuts down the grid. I'll that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. You do not want to mess up with the security system of the Smithsonian Museum. Isn't it a bit weird that you're literally the president of the United States? You can nuke Pakistan, you can nuke France three times and you choose to steal jewelry. I will not understand that. I thought Obama would be a bit more aware of abusive power. I'll be there in 30. God, she's awesome. <laughs> oh, I guess Senator McCain's gonna fly me back to Alaska now. He's got a private jet, you know. Okay, bye-bye then. Are we gonna have a sex scene uh, between Bailey and Obama? I was not expecting to see Miss Palin's um, breasts. But you know what? I I'm gonna take it. Boobs are boobs. We all gotta enjoy some atas from time to time. <laughs> All right, here we go. What's that noise? It's okay, just some construction outside. That was easy. Oh, no. The lasers, they're blue, they're not red like in all the movies. Holy shit. I don't know about you guys, but heist movies, they're the most boring movies ever. Because you know what... It's gonna end with two furries having sex. McCain, we've got a problem. Hang in there, Ike. We're gonna get you help. How bad was that fall? Hey, there's some people. Um, excuse me? Let's they are Kay? We don't have any more room in the Ark. You have to let us in. You know the country is doomed. Who are you to turn us away? I built this bunker in case McCain lost. There isn't enough room for everyone. Well, uh, there's a lot of room for homeless people in South Park. I like how South Park illustrates this tendency. The side that lost is in an utter ultra panic mode, while the side that won, their celebration is a little bit uh, excessive. Hey, excuse me, but we need some help. I know you do, but there's no more room, I tell ya. You're going to deny them too? God sakes, man, they're children. Look them in the eyes and tell them you won't take them in. Look at their little cheeks. Yeah, go in my face, asshole. It's all right, damn you. The children can come in. No, we don't want in your stupid shelter. Okay, then I want their place. Me too. We need to get a ride to the hospital. There isn't gonna be a hospital, don't you get it? That's right. Let us in now! <laughs> oh, yeah, there's the... Uh... Oh, jeez, it's already happening. Society's breaking down. Obama hasn't been elected four hours and already the 
country's going to hell. Oh yeah, that's um, another tendency. That's called uh, delegating responsibility. People, they act like savages. They act like assholes. And then all of a sudden, those goddamn politicians. Where do those politicians come from? Do they materialize from Nibiru, from Saturn? I don't know. That's how they come, in Malo. Mr. Obama? Sir? All right. Mr. Obama is jacking it in San Diego. Is there a problem, gentlemen? Uh, no. No, sir. E everything okay in there? Why wouldn't it be? I'm sorry, but I asked to be left alone. Yes, sir. It's just that your wife is here. My wife? Barack, everyone's been looking for you. What on earth are you doing? Uh, c come on in, darling. Thank, thank you, boys. Okay, Barack, tell me what's going on. Michelle, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? Barack, what is it? You have a nice dick, Michelle. Oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. My professional deformation from watching too much uh, Sour Park just kicked in. Of course, Michelle Obama is a gorgeous female. The laser system guarding the diamond was replaced by an optical relay three days ago. You gotta be kidding me. For a second, they so got me. They got me there. Vault is inaccessible? Is McCain online? Hi, Michelle. Your guys weren't running update checks on the security logs? Michelle, we need you to do a different scan hack to the vault relay. On a new system in an hour? Are you nuts? My job was to pretend to be married to this bozo and get you three scan hacks into a laser system. Michelle, it's Sarah. They did replace the laser system, but the new one isn't brand new. It's an old H7 series. You can break this baby in 30 minutes. <sighs> Tell Davis to get me a four transmitter and enough pulse drives to light a spark. You catch that, Davis? You know, it's a heist movie when uh, you don't understand the terminology and you don't need to understand the terminology because it's bollocks. Yeah, we're gonna need four super magnum transformer transistors and uh, a pair of ultra radiated socks. On it. We made it, Ike. You're going to be okay. No, no, no. He doesn't. He doesn't have time. It's his time. It's running out. There. Just take a seat over there. Excuse me. <gasps> is it, oh! <laughs> I just saw it, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell is that? How did my brother celebrate that intensely? Brother Obama won. We get it, but <laughs> but you didn't have to stick that up your ass. My little brother needs medical <laughs> an Obama supporter or a McCain supporter? Why does that matter? Because then I'll know if he partied too hard or if he tried to kill himself. <laughs> Ma'am, please, I think my little brother needs immediate help. You don't understand, kid. There's only two doctors on call and Dr. Wilson is out celebrating in the street somewhere. So where's the other doctor? <laughs> Guys, whenever your beloved politician has lost the election, this is not the end of the world. Just hang in there. <laughs> okay, but people, we can keep partying, can't we? He overdosed as well. Come on, let's sing. Obama, where you came and you gave without taking. He gave in a day. Well, what song is that? It sounds like that one old Randy Orton theme song from WWE, but I don't think it is. Anybody gonna help the poor fella pull the banner out of his ass, <laughs> Randy? And oh, and I sent you away, Obama. When you kiss me, it stop me from shaking. <laughs> but I sent you away, Obama. I've almost got it. You're only going to have five minutes. Do you understand? Oh. Do you really not like pretending to be married? Oh, Jesus, now is not the time, B. Come on, you have to admit we had some fun. My girls need somebody better than a world-class diamond thief. W wait, there, I got it. All right, everyone, we're about to go. So here's the revised schedule. 4.40 a.m., the team gathers at the northwest exit of the museum. 4.45 a.m., Michelle hacks the optical relay, allowing me access to the rear doors. Go! 4.46, from inside, I can open the doors and let in the rest of the crew. Now, I don't think Michelle is uh, really into Obama. You don't usually date a guy with, with a dick smaller than yours. But looking at this map, I would steal something from the Holocaust Museum. I don't know what, but they, they seem to have interesting stuff. 
5.10 a.m. at the Department of Power, Quincy shuts down the grid, disabling power to the vault room. 5.12, my grandmother who faked her death on Monday calls in a bomb threat to the museum. I said I put a bomb in your building. Yes. Why did you fake her Cars death? Open the southwest door, checking the museum for any bombs. By Fort Alibi, Kane, I guess. As a football player, enters security and shuts off the diamond case alarm. <laughs> Those uh, comedic elements in the heist movies, right? South Park did a great job at depicting them accurately. Since the movie cannot solely be about stealing, you need to do some of those um, unnecessary comedic beats. Hey, you! Stop! Michelle and I head back into the tunnel and the hole is patched. 5.15 a.m. I walk out of the Oval Office with the diamond securely hidden in my anus. Okay. <laughs> just like Bruce Willis' father from Pulp Fiction, ladies and gentlemen. But this one is just a diamond. That one was a watch. That one was a pocket watch. That's a bit more painful for a man. Although it depends on your sexual proclivities. They could have easily stolen all the stuff from the Smithsonian Museum with, with a little bit of help from Mr. Slave. Just one thing. Don't you think people are going to be suspicious when you disappear? Go looking for you? We hired a guy for that a couple Oh yeah, a clone. Is it a clone? I hope it's Tyler Perry. Wait a second, Ike was involved in all of this? <laughs> What, what is it that I don't know about this little guy? I don't think we had the build up to this. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. I knew this guy was special. A guy who was literally abducted by aliens in the first episode, he wouldn't have anything to do with the presidential heist. What the hell? This is so great. Can, can, can a guy from a hospital in South Park do that, ladies and gentlemen? I would assume that the procedure would be a bit more complex when it comes to the death of a fucking president. But let this sneaky Canadian son of a bitch keep his secrets. Ike? Boom, baby. <laughs> Boom, baby. Literally. Tahiti. Here are all the tickets for your group, Mr. Sanchez. Thank you very much. Well, friends, let us depart. Hey. Why do people choose Mexican family names whenever they uh, want to change identity? What if I am going to fake my death and call myself Gonzalez? What do you think? I don't know, just pick something Arab or Russian so that people don't mess with you. It's, it's easy as that. Who's going to treat you seriously with a Spanish or a Mexican family name? Hey, uh, you guys go ahead. I just came to say goodbye. What? I've decided to hang it up. Maybe give this president thing a shot. <laughs> you can't be serious. Two shots. Besides, you died in a jet in the Rocky Mountains, remember? Could have been I didn't make that flight. What do you say, Michelle? Would you and your girls like to move into the White House with me? You know, settle down. Just be president and first lady for a while. Obama. Are you serious? Who knows? Maybe we could change a few things. What do you say? Uh, what the fuck? Man, do Matt Stone and Trey Parker love Obama that much? Because from the way they depicted Donald Trump, they, they think he's the demon of this world. But look at this. Obama seems to be the most lovable character in South Park. I just love happy endings. It's still here. It it's all still here. Does that mean maybe we overreacted? No, 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 you're dead. You're dead, Garrison. This is, this is hell. This is exactly how hell looks like. But it doesn't matter. Every single one of us tends to overreact sometimes. No, no, I wouldn't say that. 
It's just maybe... Well, maybe Obama would be all right. Ugh. Oh, ow. Ow. Hey, where are my pants? Where's our TV? <laughs> Cartman! Where pants and where's my TV? Dad, your boss called. He said you're fired. Oh! oh God damn it! Obama said things would be different! Yeah! Son of a bitch lied to us! That's very true. Of course, it's America. You don't have personal responsibility. You have to blame the politicians for who you have become. God damn Obama. God damn Trump. Surely they don't represent the people. Surely the people are not like this. I knew I should have voted for McCain! This was a good episode, ladies and gentlemen. It's an election episode, and I think this is the first one, right? Because I have not found one that was with the 2004 elections or the 2000 elections. That would, that would have been nice, the one with, where Al Gore lost in Florida. I think if they came up with Al Gore's character a bit earlier, it, it could have been a kick-ass episode. But this one was alright. I'm not gonna put it in S tier or an A tier. This is a B tier episode, I shall say. The feeling that I have, it's that it's a bit boring when it comes to the South Park standards. It's not the best episode, but it's not the worst. It's pretty entertaining, with a couple of very good jokes, and the revelation of Ike being a part of the of Obama's heist plan. That's uh, impeccable. And also, I'm not a big fan of heist movies in general. It's always the same plot. They try to steal something, and then there's a problem in the third act. And then by the end of the movie, they steal what they wanted to steal initially. Holy shit. That's why I'm not the biggest fan of Ocean's 11, Ocean's 12. How many associates of Ocean's were there? I, I don't remember. This one I did like, and maybe we could revisit some more election-related episodes from South Park. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? And I heard there's an election coming up next Tuesday. Please tell me about who you're gonna vote and why. I want us to have a nice political debate and a nice political discourse in the in the commentaries. It would be nice. I never understood this anxiety, this fear of, oh, don't, don't talk about politics. It's a forbidden topic. You don't talk about politics. Well, hell yeah, we do on this channel. We talk about politics on this channel because it's nice and we, we have some nice debates. I don't know. Let's embrace this idea. It's pretty nice, actually, when you think about it. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching this with me. Like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff. Screw you guys. Have a good day. My name is Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. This device requires skilled engineers, my lord.